Before we begin, I'll do something you may see me do quite often, and that is right-click my configuration and put it inside of a zip file, and then delete the folder so that when I open Blender, it's as if Blender has never been opened before. And so I'll set up to select what left. We'll change spacebar to search. And from here, I'm just going to go to preferences. And before even going into it, I'm just going to assign a shortcut of uh, Control Alt U. I really like Control Alt U. And from here, we're just going to enable hard ops and box cutter. Of course, under hard ops, I want to check these first two, save preferences, and then just look through the um, preferences here. Auto perspective is kind of a nightmare. I really don't like that thing. So now we are ready to begin. However, at the top, you may notice that your top bar is gone. If you right click over here, we can show tool settings, which will bring up the toolbar, and we can start up box cutter. And from here, I'll click on file save startup file and now this will be my startup file in fact i can even right click this assign a shortcut of um damn it uh assign the shortcut of um what was it alt u i think it used to be alt u i believe to uh create your startup file but with that i can go ahead and just close blender now if i open it back up again you'll see that it started up ready to go but normally I don't run Blender in full screen so we will just shrink it down to the size that I normally use it which is about this and then we'll press control spacebar in order to maximize uh, also I don't like seeing the camera in light so I'll press shift H to hide everything except the cube and to top it off I'll just press alt V using hard ops in order to set it to EV HQ and now it'll already have a level of shading that'll make it nice for me to jump in and begin so now if I save my startup file close blender open it up again this is how I normally get started with blender where I just go in begin box cutting and just doing my thing and just go from there so with that let's uh, move on to the next thing 